just imagine. It's been over a year of gaming bliss. But then, the power supply of your Xbox Series S dies right after the warranty. What are the options? Get it serviced by Microsoft for 200 bucks and a few weeks without gaming? Or maybe there's an alternative, a faster and much cheaper option. When I got the Xbox Series S, the first thing I did was to take a peek inside, and I noticed how easy it was to remove and replace the power supply, if it ever died. But I realised something else. It's much harder to get hold of a brand new Series S power supply. The only options seem to be an overpriced used one which personally, I'm not too comfortable with. Then there's always the official servicing route. But that's not cheap and could take a couple of weeks. But while I was poking around, I noticed a couple of things. The PSU hooks up to the motherboard with only two connectors. No PC style ATX, Molex, Mumbo Jumbo. Just a positive and a negative terminal. And it outputs 12 volts at up to 13.75 amps. Since the most demanding games consume up to about 80 watts, supplying the Series S with 12 volts and say 10 amps of current should, in theory, be enough. The only other part needed is a compatible barrel jack. All the parts I used are listed in the description. So now we've got everything we need for under 30 bucks. It's time to like the video, subscribe for more, and let's get fixing. I've used my Xbox for hours on end with this power supply, playing on Forza Horizon 4, Cyberpunk and Halo Infinite and everything seems to be running okay, no smoke, pops or random shutdowns. But since the power supply has been downgraded from 165 watts to just 120, I'll be sure to do some rigorous gaming, strictly for testing purposes to see if there are any longer term issues. And now that Pandora's Xbox has been opened, I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve. In the meantime, let me know what you think and see what else I get up to.